Hey guys, Casual Gamer 84. Welcome back to the game room. As you can see, I have quite the the haul here behind me. Uh, we will break this down. If you're interested in seeing what I've got here, stick around. Alright guys, so before we get into all this stuff back here, uh, I do want to say that uh, I know I said I was going to Scarefest and things come up. I did not get to go to Scarefest, so there will not be a Scarefest video, but I do have some other videos coming up soon. Uh, it's almost Christmas, so I'm going to do my 24 days of Christmas again this year, but I need your all's help with that. What I want you all to do is comment down below a game that uh, you would have liked or you would like to open on Christmas. Um, and as long as it's uh, PS2 gen and later, I will play it uh, on the channel. Uh, kind of the same way that I did last year. Go back and watch those 24 days of Christmas. Uh, but I need 24 of you all at least. Drop some games down below that you would like to open up on Christmas. Or maybe that you, you liked uh, that you opened up on Christmas. Uh, that'll work too. Comment those down below and we'll get that content underway. So now to this big bundle of stuff that I got here. Uh, friend of mine, uh, co-worker, selling his collection. Um, had some adult stuff that he wanted to do, some adult decisions that need to be made. Uh, so he sold his collection. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get in on that. Uh, it all went to one person which makes sense. He did have some stuff left over. Uh, me and him got to talking, and he was uh, in the market for a uh, NES Classic console, one of the mini ones, and a uh, Sega Classic console, one of the mini ones. Uh, and I had both of those, uh, both of those complete in box. Um, and uh, so we got to talking. I uh, got to wheeling and dealing, and I ended up trading. I put up here what I traded him uh, for all of this, uh, and then we will go over all of this. Uh, all right, guys, so let's get right into this stuff. First thing uh, that was in this bundle of stuff that I got was a PS2 uh, fat, so the original PS2 uh, box and inserts, no, no console in it. I'd have a console to put in it so I can complete that. Uh, a PS2 Slim box manual and inserts. Um, again, I have a console to put in that. Uh, another PS2 Slim. This one had the console in it, uh, but it was missing the cables. Uh, I also had the paper stuff in it, but it was missing the cables. So I had some extra cables I threw in there. So this one is complete in box now, which is awesome. Uh, and then this one. Uh, it's probably one that I'm kind of uh, the most excited about. Uh, it's just the box, inserts, and manuals. Uh, but I do have a Genesis Model 2 to go in it. Uh, I'm not super nostalgic for the Genesis Model 2. However, nostalgia hit me right in the face when I was opening this. When I was pulling the cardboard inserts out of it. To kind of clean it and see what all was in there. Uh, I had a Genesis Model 2. I did not have the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 pack in. I had the Eternal Champions pack in. Uh, and as I'm taking the cardboard stuff out of this, boom, that nostalgia and just the memories of pulling that Eternal Champions console or pack in uh, console out of the box hit me. Uh, and that's why I do what I do and that nostalgia trip. But glad to have this in the collection. Uh, it's an overall pretty good shape. No tears or rips. Uh, it's some uh, edge wear and things like that on it. But... It looks pretty good overall. Color is good on it. So glad to have that in the collection. Uh, we'll get into, into this. A uh, big bunch of manuals. I will kind of go through these uh, rapid fire. Uh, there's a few good ones in here. Uh, but it's good to have extra manual because you never know when you may need them. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 Genesis Manual. This is the Mega Hits series. Um, so I think this is the uh, cardboard box variant of that game's manual. Uh, it's some NES 
stuff. Super Spike V-Ball. Get it in frame here. Wizards and Warriors. Pinball Quest. Tetris. Sky Kid. Uh, one Super Nintendo manual and FIFA 96 Soccer. Uh, so N64, there was a Majora's Mask manual in here. I put it with my copy of uh, Majora's Mask that I got. Um, and I thought I didn't have a manual for it. I did have a manual for it, but the manual was pretty beat up. And the manual that I got in the slot uh, didn't look like it had ever been opened. Uh, it was in really good shape. So I put it with my box and cartridge. Uh, Pod Racer. Torok 2. Xena Warrior Princess. I think there's two Body Harvest in here. Yeah. South Park Rally. World is Not Enough. F1 World Grand Prix. Perfect Dark, Hybrid Heaven, this one's a little water damaged, Armorines, Project Swarm, again this one's water damaged, um, and the last three are probably, or last four rather, probably the best four as far as value goes. Uh, if I wanted to to resell these to fund the collection, or if I wanted to hold on to these hoping to get a cartridge in a box down the road, uh, these would be my best bang for my buck. Uh, Torok 3, Shadow of Oblivion. Uh, I think it's like a $20 manual or something. Uh, Batman Beyond, Return of the Joker. And all these are in pretty good shape. Uh, I've never heard of this game before. Uh, that is Space Station Silicon Valley. The manual is in good shape, but it has a Kroger Video Shop sticker uh, on the front of it. Uh, and it, I'm not quite sure what it's going for right now. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, manual $36 on that manual so it's a good one the best one of the lot by far is Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine um, this manual is in really good shape uh, it doesn't look like any of the corners are creased uh, the spine's not creased on it uh, no bends or anything in it uh, and it also has the, the insert that would have came with the game uh, slid in the manual as well. Uh, and this one is, I think, like eighty dollars. Eighty-five dollars on this manual. Uh, so be on the lookout for those if you find a lot of manuals or something. Check out those. And these I need to clean up a little bit. I think they'll clean up just fine. Uh, but I got the uh, Duck Hunt Mario Bros. manual. Zapper manual. And uh, Control Deck manual. Uh, I got those separate uh, because that's all the manuals that would come in a boxed NES. Future video coming about boxed NES. Alright. So... On to the next console that was in this lot. You all have seen it in the video thus far. It is a Dreamcast, and it is the black Sega Sports uh, Dreamcast, which is the more expensive of the Dreamcast, uh, the harder to find. Um, uh, 
Uh, it's 136 loose right now. Uh, put it up in, and it works. Uh, I don't know if it's the cable that I got, uh, but the audio kind of goes in and out, so I'll have to look at that. Uh, but it's cool to have that uh, in the uh, in the bundle, as I didn't have a Dreamcast. Uh, I didn't have any Dreamcast games uh, before before this. Uh, I had a Dreamcast and like two or three games um, that I sold a while back because I really wasn't into it. Wasn't finding a lot. Uh, but glad to have it back in the collection. It was kind of one of those things that instantly I got seller's remorse and I got rid of it. Um, but as you can see, I got a stack, a stack of video games. A majority of them are sports games. But don't let that fool you with the resale value when you're trying to find a collection. Uh, most of these are in the 5 to $10 range. Uh, NBA 2K2. World Series 2K1. I'm going to rapid fire on these. NBA 2K1. NFL 2K1. NFL 2K. NHL 2K. World Series Baseball 2K2. NHL 2K. Quarterback Club, Quarterback Club 2000. NBA 2K1, NFL 2K1, NBA 2K, Ultimate Fighting Championship, NFL 2K, Virtual Tennis. I'm actually kind of looking forward to playing that one. Pro Striker 2000. And NCAA College Football 2K2. So, bunch of sports there, and a bunch more sports here. All right, so these are the better of the, the lot. Uh, the ones that uh, I kind of want to play, I look forward to. Uh, Sega Sports Tennis 2K2. NBA Showtime. NBA on NBC with Shaq on the front of it. Uh, and don't let these sports games fool you guys. I'm going to scan one here just for giggles. Especially on the Dreamcast. Uh, complete $20.73. Uh, so, not not bad on that. Uh, there's another one I'm looking forward to playing. is Tee Off. Um, not played it before, but it looks kind of like a Hot Shots Golf uh, style game. So, looking forward to that. Uh, I got a disc-only copy of Resident Evil 2. I got a disc and case copy of Sonic Adventure, no manual. Those are two I'm glad to have in the collection. NBA Hoops, uh, again, Shaquille O'Neal on the front of it. And uh, this one's, I think, almost $40 on this one. $47.24, actually, so almost $50. Uh, which is is crazy, I think, for a, for a sports game. Uh, but if you can find them cheap, because a lot of people dismiss sports games, and you can resell them to add a, a lot of cool stuff to your collection, uh, these are definitely bolos for you. Uh, Virtual Striker 2. Uh, I always like the NFL Blitz games, but NFL Blitz 2000. ESPN NBA Tonight. Uh, and this one's actually a Konami game. Uh, which I didn't know that Konami had made sports games uh, of this generation. Uh, they did. NFL Blitz 2001. There's WWF Attitude. Uh, a lot of nostalgic memories of this game, although I had it on N64. I, I still have it on 64, but the one I played as a, as a kid was N64. 
Uh, WF Royal Rumble. Uh, I've not played this game. Looking forward to it. Uh, it is a THQ game. Uh, and THQ was hitting out of the park uh, this era on uh, with the uh, WWF games. Uh, NHL 2K2. And then these last few are the hitters. Well, not necessarily all of them. Uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution. Uh, I've not played this game either. Uh, but I definitely want to give it a uh, a shot. <laughs> Just a throwback. Watch ECW on TNN. Um, so this next one kind of blew my mind. ECW Anarchy Rules. And I assume it was released late in the Dreamcast life cycle. Um, so it just didn't get a uh, lot of uh, traction. One hundred nine ninety uh, complete in box. Uh, so don't sleep on these, you know, sports or Dreamcast games that you may think are insignificant, or wrestling games that you may think are insignificant because they could help find some stuff. I'm gonna keep that in the collection just because. Uh, I'm a fan. So this next one, it gets really confusing. Really, really confusing. So, Ready to Rumble Boxing. So if I scan this one, let me actually start some screen capture here. And I'll throw the screen capture up now. All right, so ready to rumble boxing i'm gonna scan it well i hope if i click in the right spot before i scan huh i'm gonna scan it and we get ready to rumble boxing and it actually has went down since this morning uh i looked at it this morning it was like twenty dollars uh so 1730 complete in box uh for this one ready to rumble boxing sega all-stars version it's got the sega all-stars on the side of it if i scan it it's just the same it brings up the exact same game it's not the same barcode um, but it brings up the same game it is not the same game so what I have to do is type in ready to rumble. Uh, Sega All-Stars. Click on it. It brings up the All-Stars version. 165 complete in box. $165 for this version of this game. So it's the same game, the exact same game, uh, as far as gameplay goes. Uh, it's just this variant is worth $150 more almost, uh, which is crazy. So ways to tell the difference. I'm going to go ahead and break this down for you. So ready to rumble boxing. Just the average run of the mill one uh, does not have the Sega All Stars banner, and the disc is yellow. So this is just your standard version of the game at seventeen dollars. So your Sega All Stars version that's one hundred and sixty five dollars. Obviously, the case has the Sega All Stars banner, has the black Dreamcast banner on the side of it. The spine is orange. But the disc is red. Uh, so that's the big, big tail there. Uh, if you're in the market for buying one of these, you're completing a collection or whatever, uh, and they have the yellow disc, 
uh, in this case and they try to pass it off as the Sega All-Stars version or if they say it's a Sega All-Stars version because disc only, you all can see on the screen of the Sega All-Stars version, this one is $100, $102 actually. Uh, that's not, this is the standard one. The red one is the Sega All-Stars version at $165. Um, so I got this one in this bundle. I got this case in this bundle. I already had the disc. Uh, so don't sleep on these titles, guys. Uh, be on the lookout. Uh, if you see a Ready to Rumble uh, and it's the red disc version and it's cheap, get it. Uh, don't just rely on apps where you scan it because you all seen I scan this one and it brings it up. You can see that I've got it pulled up right here and you can see that when I scan it it switches to the, the regular version uh, and it is not. Uh, so don't rely on on scanning apps um, don't rely on you know just looking it up uh, and things like that because it may be wrong. If it's the red disc ready to rumble boxing you've got a, uh, a bolo there and if it's cheap pick it up. If it's the yellow disc, it's a fun game. If you want to play it, pick it up. Uh, but it's not going to be as good on resale for you. So guys, that's all I got today. This was kind of a long video. because I had a lot of stuff. Thanks for watching. And you know what to do down below. Also, don't forget, uh, I'm interested to know what game you would want to get for Christmas or what game you enjoyed getting for, for Christmas. PS2 error and back. Comment that down below. It may be featured on my 24 Days of Christmas, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time.